What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and I am currently shorting Bitcoin. As you guys know, we've been looking for price to come up to some of these key levels of resistance and as we started to see those bearish signals print, I was looking for short positions and I did wind up catching a couple of them. Unfortunately, one of them got stopped out in profit. I'll talk about that a little bit, but I just wanted to update you guys and talk about why I'm in this short position and where I think price is likely to go next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the charts and let's keep the mafia in profit let's get into it so here we are on the bitcoin chart guys and as you can see we are starting to get a little bit of a dump to the downside now make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you smash that like button because if you've been tuning into the live streams and watching these market updates over the past week or so you will know that ever since we cracked this level which is the value area low of our macro range here beginning in march at about sixty thousand dollars this is where we actually had a long setup in the premium discord actually from all the way down here at about fifty four thousand dollars looking for price to come up into this value area low but on the live streams we were looking at the flip of this level of resistance into support opening up the door to some very specific key levels sitting between about 66,350 all the way up to about $67,000 where we have a macro POC of this major range we've been trading in and as we started creeping up to these levels guys we did start putting in some bearish confirmations as we were looking at last week on the YouTube live stream we did have the bearish divergences into that key level of resistance resistance and we had these bear divs printing on time frames such as the 12 hour and this oftentimes it does at least call for some kind of pullback now I do just want to say just because I'm short in the heck out of Bitcoin right now does not mean that I am overall bearish looking for it to go to zero but as everybody gets super super bullish oh my god all-time highs you start seeing the the meme coin thumbnails come in and I'm not saying that the meme coins can't pump but again when you start to see that euphoria creep back in everybody's bullish looking for 70k it is typically time for a pullback and the charts never lie and as you guys see we did come up to those key levels we put those bearish divergences in we did wind up seeing that come in now i am currently in a sixty-six thousand dollars short here on femax and you guys can see here up about 27 percent or 951 dollars now i am also still holding a portion of my long position from 58k which is still up 877 dollars but we already have about 2300 dollars locked in here i actually happen to take a short basically from the top here you can see at about 65 7 44 I was in an $86,000 short uh, and unfortunately in that weekend volatility I did stop out in profit there still a winning trade pretty small profit there uh, but I was short from basically the tippy top on that beautiful retracement here we came down came back up I did take the short and I stopped out in profit on blowfin but again I did have that short on Femex that is now in profit so not too shabby there is money out there all over the place so you can't cry over some missed moves especially if it ends in even a small win and and hopefully some of the candle mafia were able to take some of that TA and use it to their advantage and catch some short positions of their own. I know some of you guys already did, but I do think there is a potential possibility to continue down a little bit lower for some very specific reasons, guys. And I'm going to go over that in this video. But if you guys want to trade alongside me in the premium discord where I give trade setups and daily TA, you guys can check out the link in the description down below. Now, this bigger short setup was something we were looking at since the 24th of September, waiting for price to come in and take out these highs at 65k come tap that tpoc up here before putting in higher time frame bearish divergences for the bigger move to the downside and you guys can see that is literally what we are seeing here right now tapping right into that time point of control before the bigger drop to the downside and we also had the long from fifty four thousand dollars, so definitely super super sauce in there so check that out in the link in the description down below because if you're in the candle mafia we make money whether the price is going up or down but guys if we do continue down here i kind of want to walk you guys through my thought process and kind of what i'm expecting here so uh if we do wind up coming down a little bit more here guys some local levels that i will be looking at um we are currently getting a little bit of a bounce off this local point of control pulled from this little range back here you guys can see this poc is coming in at sixty three thousand one hundred and ninety four dollars um and you can see right we've been accepted back into this range i mean these volume profiles are absolutely overpowered we came down we got a nice little bounce off that value area high and then eventually we wound up kind of getting accepted back into this range so as long as we are within this volume profile i will be looking at this locally trading it as a range if we lose that poc i will be looking to come down to the value area low sitting at about sixty two thousand five hundred dollars now we do have some confluence down here guys if i go ahead and pull our golden pocket you guys can see that we do have a golden pocket sitting just at about sixty two thousand dollars sixty one eight eighty nine to be exact so if we do continue to work our way down below this range and we get 
a little bit of a dip out of this level. I will be looking for small bounces, but I will say, guys, with the way four-hour money flow looks, if we do wind up getting the bigger pullback, I kind of want to bring up the higher time frame levels. Now, again, if I pull up our Fibonacci retracement, you can see we do have confluence here between the golden pocket and our macro value area low at 60K. Now, as you guys know, if you watch the channel, that $60,000 level is kind of the really, really important level that we need to hold if we want to continue our moves to the upside, right? Because if we hold this value area low, that's where we are hoping that we could continue our move up to the high of the range. So if we do continue down here, especially with that golden pocket confluence at about $60,000, as you guys can see right here, this is going to be a big level of support that we want to hold if we want to see continued upside in my own personal opinion. Now, can we actually see price get down there? I'll be quite honest with you guys with those high time frame bearish divergences and this four hour money flow coming to the downside, looking across over into the red on market cipher B. This is not completely out of the question for me. Sometimes I feel like I'm alone here calling for pullbacks where everybody's just looking for price to shoot up to all time highs. Uh, and, you know, the TA plays out more often than it doesn't. Right. So, you know, I will say if we do continue down, these are going to be like the really, really big levels that I'm looking at. But don't forget, there's no guarantee we get back down there. So keep an eye on those local levels, bringing you down to about $62,000 with the local fib and value area low. But with the four hour money flow, the higher hourly time frame bearish divergences, as well as the two day guys, the two day red dot is absolutely creeping down here. Now, money flow, not looking horrible here, but I would expect that red dot on the two day to print before that money flow crosses into the green. So we're going to have to see what happens here. I mean, higher daily time frame VWAPs are starting to roll over. Oftentimes, these are the things that give us a little bit more of a pullback. So, uh, you know, not impossible to kind of come back down here and retest some of these levels. Again, this doesn't make me completely bearish on Bitcoin at all. Um, just looking for a little bit more of a pullback, right? If we can get a move uh, down to 62K, even 60K, we could potentially continue up to higher prices. But it is not usually the case where we just see price go up in a straight line forever. You have to expect these pullbacks. And when you can make these really, really nice profits, whether price is going up or down, you have to keep an eye as a trader on all of these levels because if you can grab those short positions on retracements, you know, it's nice. If we do continue up, those spot bags will continue to pay us out. Uh, but, you know, uh, as I always say, guys, I am a trader here and a technical analyst. I, I, my only goal here is to bring you guys true data and information on where I think price is going to go. So, you know, when I get bearish at these key levels, it's not that I want Bitcoin to go down, uh, but, you know, it is very likely to see these pullbacks. And I'm really, really glad that I stick to my guns here and I look at those resistance levels and we talk about those high time frame bearish divergences. So the mafia is prepared for those pullbacks when they do come in. So that is what I'm looking at here on Bitcoin, guys. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of a pullback, capitalize on some of these shorts, come down to those bigger key levels, and then we could finally look for some fresh long positions. So with all that being said, guys, quick little market update here. Just wanted to kind of show you guys the trades and just show you that, you know, when everybody's getting super, super bullish, it's not really the best time to be long you're likely going to be long in the top. That's why oftentimes when people are calling for higher prices, we're actually looking for shorts. This is how things work, especially when you're looking to trade these markets. You're usually going to have to be going against the herd. And with all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for this video. Don't forget to like and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these moves before they happen. I'll see you in the next one. Frank Here we out. go at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Ay, on a roll. Here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide.